Photoshop is the one of the most popular and powerful image editing tools available in the market today. With its vast range of features, Photoshop can be used for a wide variety of tasks ranging from simple image corrections to complex photo manipulations. One of the most commonly used features of Photoshop is the ability to change the color of an object in a photo. This technique is often used in the fashion industry to showcase different color options for clothing and accessories. In this tutorial, we will be using the Camera Raw of Photoshop or Lightroom to change the color of white dress into a colorful one. While there are many techniques and methods to change the color of an object in Photoshop, but this tutorial will focus on using the Camera Raw or Lightroom model, which offers a very quick and easy way to achieve the desired result. By the end of this tutorial, you will be able to confidently change the color of any dress or object in your photos using Photoshop's powerful image editing tools. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First open the photo that you want to edit. If you are a Lightroom user, you can open the photo in Lightroom. Then duplicate the layer by right clicking on the layer and selecting duplicate layer. Now convert the duplicated layer into a smart object by right clicking on the layer and selecting convert to smart object. By converting the layer into a smart object, we can apply adjustments and filters to the layer without affecting the original image. If you make a mistake, we can always go back and make the changes to the smart object later. It gives us greater flexibility and control when editing images in Photoshop. Now open the layer in Camera Raw by go to Filter, Menu, select Camera Raw. Once we are in Camera Raw or Lightroom, we can start the process of changing the dress color. The first step is to select the Masking tab in the right panel. This will bring up the set of tools that we can use to make selections in our image. From the Masking tab, we need to select the Object Selection tool by clicking on this icon. This tool allows us to quickly and accurately make selections of objects in our photo that we want to apply adjustments. The, the object selection tool offers two selection modes, brush select and rectangle select. In brush select mode, we can roughly brush over the objects we want to select. This mode is ideal for making precise selections of irregular shaped objects such as dress, in rectangle select mode, we can make a box over the object we want to select. This mode is better suited for selecting objects with straight edges or for selecting a large area of the image. For this instance, we will use the brush select mode to make a selection of the dress. After that, we need to select on the add button in the masking panel. This will allow us to select the areas of the image that we want to work on. Once we click on add, we need to choose the select objects option from the drop down menu that appears. After selecting select objects, we can start painting over the areas that we want to select. For instance, if you want to change the color of your dress, we would paint over the dress using the brush tool. We can adjust the brush size by using the slider or by pressing the left or right bracket keys on your on our keyboard once we have the appropriate brush size we can start painting over the area of the dress that we want to select the tool will automatically detect the edges of the dress and make a selection based on our brush strokes it's very important to note that the selections we make will appear as a red overlay on our photo this overlay helps us to see exactly what we are selecting and where we need to make adjustments. If we want to change the color of the overlay, we can click on this mask overlay color and select the color of our choice from the dialog box. When you are painting the dress, you may notice that some areas are not selected such as the edges of folds of the dress. In such cases, you can repeat the process of selecting the object until the entire dress is selected. In this case, brush tool is ideal for selecting the any missed areas.
once you have selected the dress you might notice that the selection also includes some unwanted areas such as skin or hair now to refine your mask and remove these areas you can click on subtract on your mask floating panel and choose select objects again this will allow you to paint on areas that you want to subtract from the mask to remove the skin areas from the selection you can simply brush over the areas that you want to subtract from the mask you can also see a preview of your mask in a small thumbnail in the masking panel the white area shows where you are editing while the black area shows what you are subtracting from the selection it's important to take your time with this step and make sure that you have a clean and accurate selection a good selection will make it easier to us to make precise edits to the dress color later on when working with mask you might want to hide the mask overlay to get a better view of your image to do this simply hold down the control key on windows or command key on mac and click on the mask thumbnail in the masking tab this will hide all the mask overlays allowing you to see the image without any distractions this shortcut can be very useful when you want to check the overall effect of your edits without the distraction of the mask overlay now that you have made the selection it's time to start making the adjustments to the masked area the adjustments tool in the right panel are similar to the ones you find in the lightroom so if you are familiar with lightroom you will feel right at home for instance if you want to adjust the exposure of the selected area move the exposure slider to the left or right to darken or lighten the dress similarly you can adjust the contrast temperature hue saturation and other attributes to get the desired effect when we lower the exposure and it becomes darker you may notice some white patches which is the areas are missing from the mask so we need to add these areas as well to the mask to do that i'm going to click on add and select objects and paint on missed areas to add it to the selection lowering the exposure can indeed make the dress appear darker which can give the illusion of changing a white dress to a black dress but i want to make it lemon green color so select the hue adjustment tool you will see a horizontal slider with a rainbow of colors move the slider left or right to select the color that you want to add to the dress for example if you want to add blue or green to the dress slide the marker to the blue or green area of the slider in addition to using the hue adjustment to change the color of the dress you can fine tune the color by using the curves adjustment tool go to curves adjustment panel and select the red curve now lower the curve slightly to add some cyan color to the dress next select the green curve and lower the curve slightly to add some magenta color and finally select the blue curve and lower the curve slightly to add some yellow color to the dress these adjustments will help you achieve a more accurate and refined color for your dress uh, you can adjust blacks and also whites by lowering it or you can also adjust the shadows highlights to your liking to achieve the desired effect you can also adjust the saturation and lightness of the color using the corresponding sliders saturation will adjust the intensity of the color while lightness will adjust how bright or dark the colors appears experiment with these settings until you achieve the desired color for your dress similarly to add color to the bottom part of the dress follow the same steps that we use to add color to the top part of the dress use the object selection tool to select the bottom part of the dress make sure to refine the selection by painting over any areas that were not selected properly once you are satisfied with the selection use the adjustment tools in the right panel to make edits to the mask area you can use the hue adjustments to add color to the bottom part of the dress similarly adjust the hue slider to the desired color you can also adjust other settings like saturation luminance and more to get the perfect color for the dress after making the adjustments click on the okay button to apply the changes your edited image with the colored dress will now be available in photoshop 
and that's it you have successfully changed the color of a dress in photoshop you can compare the before and after images to see the difference and remember there are various ways to achieve similar results in photoshop and this tutorial is just one of them if you want to make any further adjustments or edits to the color of the dress you can do so easily by accessing the camera or filter again to do this simply click on the smart filter layer in the layers panel which will open the camera raw filter dialog box once in the camera raw filter you can go back to the masking tab and access the mask layers for the background bottom dress and top dress for example if you want to make the bottom part of the dress a darker shade of red you can select the bottom dress mask layer and adjust the temperature and tint it's also worth experimenting with other adjustments such as temperature or tint adjustments you can adjust the hue to the change the color of the dress you can also make fine adjustments to the color by using the curves or curves tool to add specific color to the dress you can use the individual color channels in the curves tool that's it for this video i hope you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to our ps desire youtube channel for more photoshop tips tricks and tutorials and hit the bell icon for notifications please like share this video with friends and comment your valuable opinions thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in our next video take care happy editing